Finally, human society has numerous threats we may encounter on Earth, ranging from fighter planes and armored vehicles to military robots and artificial intelligence. Besides, scientists have recently observed certain free-moving objects in space. And while many of these objects are far away and may never reach us, it's imperative that we have some sort of defense system against them just in case. These objects that have been observed are called near-Earth objects, and they include asteroids, meteors, and comets. But what can we really do regarding threats that are from outer space? How do we prepare ourselves to combat threats like these if the need arises? That is something we must look to NASA and SpaceX for. NASA has put forth a program to test out its defense methods called the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, codenamed DART. DART is a planned space probe that will visit the double asteroid Didymos and demonstrate the kinetic effects of crashing an impactor spacecraft into an asteroid moon for planetary defense purposes. The mission is intended to test whether a spacecraft impact could successfully deflect an asteroid on a collision course with Earth. SpaceX will do the honors of launching NASA's DART spacecraft from the Vandenberg Space Launch Complex in California, USA. First, have you ever imagined what would happen if a giant asteroid hit the Earth? They only happen every 50 million years or so, Britt Scheringhausen, an associate professor of physics and astronomy at Beloit College, tells Inverse. But the result of such an impact would be devastating. Within the first few hours after the impact, it really quickly turns the Earth into this horrible, scorched hellscape. All of the ash from the fires and all the finer grain debris from the impact will hang out in the atmosphere for a long time and we get what's called an impact winter. It's going to block the sunlight, and all that ash falling into the ocean acidifies the top layers. So you burn things, kill everything in the ocean, and freeze the earth. And it goes through about two years of constant winter. However, is knocking a near-earth asteroid off course as part of a test safe? According to Professor Alan Fitzsimmons from the Astrophysics Research Center at Queen's University Belfast, it is. The clever technique that the NASA DART team has chosen is to take an asteroid that can pass close to the Earth and then target its moon. Because the moon moves around the bigger asteroid as the asteroid orbits the sun, he says. And so we will try to move the moon of the asteroid and that will just change the orbit of the moon around the asteroid and will hardly affect the big asteroid itself. So it is completely safe. ESA's mission, HERA, will then monitor how DART affected the motion of the moonlet. This will inform researchers about the possibility of knocking larger rocks off course, should the need arise. It is like a game of cosmic billiards. When you hit that asteroid with our spacecraft, it will move slightly in the opposite direction. Now, we know this should work, but we don't know exactly how much the asteroid will move. And so, this is the purpose of the space missions, to measure how far we can move an asteroid, Professor Fitzsimmons says. Now, how exactly will SpaceX and NASA take on this mission? NASA is working with SpaceX and the agency's Launch Services Program to identify the earliest possible launch opportunity within this secondary window. The DART spacecraft will launch on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California in 2022. DART is an impactor that hosts no scientific payload other than a sun sensor, a star tracker, and a 20 centimeter aperture camera to support autonomous navigation to impact the small asteroid's moon at its center. It is estimated that the impact of the 500 kilogram or 1,100 pound DART at 6.6 .6 kilometers per second or 4.1 miles per second will produce a velocity change on the order of 0.4 millimeters per second, which leads to a small change in the trajectory of the asteroid system. But over time, it leads to a large shift of its path. The target of the mission is Thymorphos, or Thymos B, which is about 160 meters or 520 feet in diameter in an orbit about one kilometer from the primary. Overall, DART is expected to alter the speed of Vimorpho's orbit by about half a millimeter per second, 
resulting in an orbital period change of perhaps 10 minutes. Over a span of millions of kilometers, the cumulative trajectory change would turn a collision with a genuinely Earth-bound asteroid or comet into a safe outcome. The actual velocity change and orbital shift will be measured a few years later by a small spacecraft called HERA that would do a detailed reconnaissance and assessment. DARD spacecraft will use the next ion thruster, a type of solar electric propulsion. It will be powered by 22 meters squared solar arrays to generate the 3.5 kilowatts needed to power the NASA Evolutionary Xenon Thruster commercial or next see it engine. It will be the first practice at planetary defense undertaken by humanity.